Hi, I'm NBC10 First Alert meteorologist Brittany Ship. We are so excited about our weather education from home. On the last year, we were running on the field, hanging out with a fanatic, doing some pretty wild experiments. This year, we're at home. I'm in my kitchen right now, and I'm sure you're at home too with your parents or maybe your siblings. And we are just so proud of you for continuing your education, especially when it comes to weather. And today, we are going to do a very special reading of the meteorologist and me. It's actually a book that I wrote because I love the weather so much and love sharing it with each and every one of you. No matter what you do, if you're a meteorologist, if you're a student, if you're a Phillies player, reading is so important. And I'm sure each and every one of you can think of your favorite book that you love to read over and over again, just like Phillies players. My favorite books to read as a little boy was the Dr. Seuss series. You remember the cat and hat, green eggs and ham, and man, I sure do eat a lot of eggs and ham, but they're never green. How about how the Grinch stole Christmas? You see, reading is so important to all of us because you know what? It can fuel our passion. It helps us find what we want to do in life. It helps us in all our classes. It helps us, you know, to find out and learn more about certain subjects. It helps us to write better. It just expands our vocabulary and helps us learn at a quicker pace. There's nothing I like better, honestly, than when it is snowing outside, turning on the fireplace, finding a good book, and reading something fun and adventurous. It's one of my favorite things to do, so make sure you find time to read a good book as well. I'm sure everyone has their favorite book that they love to read before going to sleep for different reasons, and I love sharing weather stories, and when I couldn't find a book at the bookstore that I love to read to students just like you, I decided to write my own. And I called it The Meteorologist and Me because each and every one of you could be a meteorologist one day if that's what you wanted to do. But this is also an encouraging story about summer winters. And along the way, a few of her friends told her she couldn't do something. And we'll find out if she listened to what they had to say. So let's get started. This is The Meteorologist and Me. There she is. She loves the weather. Summer, summer, time to come inside. Dinner is ready, come set the table, yelled Mama Winters from the kitchen window. How was your day, summer, sunny storm and sky, asked Papa Winters. Great, shouts Summer's brother, Sunny. You can see they're all hanging around the table. Summer hushes her brothers, shh. The weather is on. This is my favorite part of the news. I think I could do that one day, Summer nervously utters. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, right. We love you, Summer, but you don't know enough about the weather to be a weather woman, says Storm, Summer's oldest brother. Well, the TV's on and it says, meteorologist April Shower says, we're tracking a storm system bringing rain and snow tonight. The mountains will see 10 to 20 inches of snow, but the city will only see rain showers. Does anyone know why out there? You wanna take a wild guess? Well, Summer knows, look at her. She says she knows. I know why, it's because it's too warm in the city for snow. Summer replies to her brother with a little attitude. And then April Shower says, the temperatures in the city will stay above 32 degrees. At 32 degrees, water freezes. And her brother says, well, that was just a lucky guess, exclaimed Sky, Summer's youngest brother, with a smile. Can you see that right there where it says weather fact? I'm going to give you a pop quiz. At what temperature does water freeze? Did you guess 32 degrees? You would be right. Now, Mama Winters noticed that they are not getting along here, so she says, all right, you guys, that's enough. Time to get ready for bed, so you're all rested for school tomorrow. Everyone remember, you can do anything you put your mind to. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise, added Mama Winters. So now, Little Summer is at back in her bedroom, and she's looking a little sad here. Summer thinks to herself, oh, it wasn't a lucky guess. I like to read every night about the snow, hurricanes, tornadoes, and more. Maybe I could be a meteorologist just like April showers. I just have to believe in myself no matter what. That's right. So at school the next day, the teacher says, I have a special announcement. We're heading to the snow. Awesome yelled all the kids in the classroom. 
So there they are, they're heading to the snow. I just love the snow, Summer exclaims to her best friend, Monsoon. Did you know if you looked at a snowflake up close under a microscope, you would see that it has six arms. Wow, that's so cool. Sounds like you love the weather, says Monsoon. Hey, by the way, do you want to help me count some of the arms on the snowflakes? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's true. It has six arms. And then Summer continues talking to her best friend. She says, yep, I want to tell people all about the weather on TV one day. Oh, Summer, you're too shy for that. I think that would be too hard for you, Monsoon playfully replies with a laugh. Summer softly says, well, maybe you're right. Should Summer listen to her best friend? Look, she's looking a little sad. She says, wow. She just thinks to herself, I know I have a dream, but it's hard for me to believe in myself. If I keep hearing, I can't do it. From now, I'll just keep studying. Has that ever happened to you guys where someone says you probably couldn't do something that you know you knew in your heart you could do? Should you listen to them? No, probably not. All right, the next day, it's career day. Attention students, as you know, it's career day and I've arranged a special guest for you all, said Mr. Rains. Summer recognizes her immediately, but sits quietly with a big smile on her face. Hello everyone, my name is April Showers and I'm a meteorologist. Does anyone know what a meteorologist does? One student says, do you study meteors? Well, that is an interesting guess, but no, that's not right. Are you a scientist? Yes, but more specific. Summer shouts out, you study the weather every day. Well, how did you know that, says April Showers with amazement. And Summer shyly says, she tells the whole class her dream, well, that's what I want to be. And then the kids start laughing, you can't be on TV, ha, 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 you'll get too nervous, scream all the students in a burst of laughter. Well, how do you think that made Summer feel? Looks like she doesn't care. There's Summer. There is April Showers, and they're hanging out when all the other students are leaving. Thank you for joining us, Miss April Showers, says the teacher, Mr. Rains. Then Mr. Rains smiles when he notices April Showers and Summer still chatting. Back at the Winters' home, Mama Winters calls out of the kitchen. Come on inside, boys. Time for dinner and set the table. Where's Summer, her brothers ask. She's going to miss her favorite part of the news, the weather. Ha 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 ha, asks all the Winters brothers, still poking fun at Summer. They head inside for dinner and to watch the evening news without Summer. Well, there's a surprise here. They hear on the TV, tonight we have a special weather guest helping with the forecast. If she keeps studying, she'll be a future meteorologist. Welcome summer winters. Mama Winter smiles and all her brothers shout, wow, wow, look, look at summer. She's on TV talking about the weather. Well, we always knew she could do it. I told you she would be great, says Storm and Sunny and Sky. Well, that's right, everyone. Remember, you can do anything you put your mind to and don't let anyone tell you otherwise, says Mama Winters with a smile. And that is the end. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the reading of The Meteorologist and Me. The overall story is just a message of positivity that sometimes you'll run into people that might be a little discouraging to your dream, but you can't listen to them. You have to keep studying, you have to keep practicing, and you have to keep trying hard, dreaming big, and going after those dreams. Who knows, one day you could be a meteorologist or maybe even a Phillies player, but it's all up to you. Make sure you dream big and work hard. Thank you so much for participating in the reading of The Meteorologist and Me. I really hope you enjoyed it. We have more weather education on the way for you. You can watch Steve Sosna, meteorologist Steve Sosna, tomorrow at 10 a.m. He'll be talking about severe weather and tornadoes. See you later.